Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about algorithms and distributed systems. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I have designed an algorithm of a complex distributed system. Can you tell me how I can test the system before I start coding or with minimum coding? Well, if you've designed an algorithm a theoretical algorithm, I think it's extremely important that you first and foremost you need to define what you're optimizing for because there there's always a purpose to every algorithm that you are designing. The distributed systems algorithms that we have where you have different constructs that well diff different constructs that we use in order to mitigate the issues with this distributed system. They were all dis being designed for either the cap theorem or s there's always a purpose to why we have the algorithm. And so you need to identify for yourself what is the purpose of your algorithm. And then I suggest you to take a look at creating stub implementations of this. So in other words, I'm not necessarily saying that you have to implement the uh, like the entire system i don't know because if your algorithm that's why I, I can't really tell you all that much about your algorithm because i don't know wh what i mean i'm assuming here is that your algorithm is designed for the for the interconnections between the different nodes so if what you're trying to figure out is whether or not you should have a uh, how you could test the interactions between these three nodes without any coding. Well, no, you can't. Like, uh, how do I how do I put this? If you were let, let's just say for the sake of argument that you were to design a database, a distributed database system. Well, if you wanted to test the algorithm that that handles the synchronization between the nodes, well, you have to write that algorithm in order to, unless you're going to do it completely in theory with in a mathematical ma fashion, well, you would have to write that code in order to do any type of realistic testing. You didn't, but you do not have to implement the entire database if that makes sense. Necessary, unless like your algorithm is of course very much leveraging the fact that uh, you have a full-fledged database system. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but it's the, it's it, think about it similar to if uh, if you were to create an operating system, like an operating system, it it contains so much, but if you wanted to test the base feature that you're really trying to f to get right, well then maybe you don't have to implement all of the operating system. You might just be able to implement the thing that you want to see if if it's actually any good. And I'm guessing that's going to be your algorithm. So I don't really think that you can get away from uh, do uh, you you have to do some coding. Your algorithm needs to be implemented in some fashion. And I'm not saying that uh, I mean, because I don't think that you could, in theory, test this thing just in a mathematical fashion, because you could test it in a mathematical fashion. It's just that the, the danger with being too theoretical with your solutions is that uh, reality is different from math. One thing that I think is a very, very good um, good principle that uh, say Amazon and Google and so forth w when they have th when they design distributed systems they actually always include the specific hardware and the specific or and the specific uh, services that they're going to leverage in order to do their calculations when they're going to estimate how much resources they're going to need for something that is and it's all I mean of course that's uh, we do that as well as my company it's something that is extremely important to stress test your solutions because you can have the most beautiful solution in theory but unfortunately theory and reality have well there are there are a few inconsistencies between the two so what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to test your algorithm without doing all that much coding well then in a, in this scenario I think that you should consider just implementing a base set of features. Let's say for the sake of argument that you are creating a database between and uh, like some 
and, and you're gonna deal with some type of distributed uh, situation well then you don't have to implement all the storage and all the APIs and all the other stuff that would have to be part of that database just create a small proof of concept where you can push a very small piece of data to w one of the nodes in the in the distributed system and then like it will handle the consistency problem uh, according to whatever algorithm that you've written. So create like the simplest base case that you can imagine and start there and and see if your theory, if your algorithm actually holds. And then you can scale up the thing and add more and more features as you go along. Have a great day.